If you're visiting Crescent City, California, then you need to make sure that you make time to drive down Pebble Beach Drive. It's one of the prettiest beach drives in town and you definitely won't want to miss it. Pebble Beach Drive is a road that winds along the beach and has a bunch of connected coves and pullouts where you can stop and enjoy the waves or get out and walk down the beach. One of my very favorite places to explore along Pebble Beach is the parking area that has stairs that go down to the beach. It is a local favorite spot for people that are hunting for agates and exploring tide pools. It is actually one of the best agate hunting beaches in the area. The stairs to the beach doesn't have an exact location or address for you to Google, but I'm gonna leave a link down below this video and it will take you to a blog post on my website where I have the exact GPS coordinates where you can just click it and then navigate right to the location. It's pretty easy to find the parking area to the stairs to the beach because there's a large rock right next to the parking spots. And once you park, then you'll be able to see the stairs right in front of you there. They're really easy to spot. And there's also an informational sign about whale watching in Crescent City because each year in the winter and spring, whales migrate from the Gulf of Mexico to the Arctic. So make sure you keep your eye out to see if you might see any whales. Hey guys, it's Amber from Ask for Adventure and today we are in Crescent City, California and we are on Pebble Beach Drive and we are going to go check out this place. I don't know what it's called, but there's stairs where you can walk down to the beach and you can see tide pools and stuff down there. So let's go. One thing that you should definitely do before you visit the stairs is you want to check the tide tables. When the tide is in, you won't even be able to get down to the stairs to the beach because the water level actually comes about halfway up the stairs. So you want to make sure you check the tides and see when the tide is out. As you walk down the stairs, you'll see a split where there are two more sets of stairs. One you can go down to the right and one side you can go down to the left. If you go down to the left, it is a smaller and more rocky beach. It is a perfect spot if you're wanting to explore the tide pools or hunt for agates. We're gonna go down here to the left side and go check out the rocks and see if we can find some uh, tide pools. I walked down to the left first and found some great agates. There's some blue ones and purple, wow. I couldn't believe the agates that we found were such crazy colors, blue and purple and turquoise. And I've been down to this beach many times before and I've never actually found agates that were these colors. Normally they're like amber colored and clear or dark brown. And let me know, I don't know if this is normal, so let me know in the comments below if anyone's visited this beach and found agates like this before because I thought it was really weird. After we were done hunting for agates, we went and started exploring the tide pools. Right now it's perfect because the tide is out. And so we're able to walk down here and that's when you can really see the tide pools the best. Be careful when you're walking over the rocks on the tide pools because they're really slippery, especially the rocks that have seaweed on them. I would definitely suggest wearing tennis shoes or maybe even boots. There were a ton of crab all over in the tide pools and between the rocks. I found these cute little crabs that were in the tide pools and I thought it would be fun to take an underwater video so that you guys could get a closer look. It was really fun exploring the tide pools and seeing what we could find. I think the tide is starting to come back in so we're gonna head back up over the stairs and go check out the other side. After I explored the left side, I went back up and over the right side of the stairs. This is the side that is more popular because it's a walking spot where you can actually walk all the way down the beach and it's a much larger sandy area. There's also a ton of spots that you can hunt for agates on the right side as well. If you do have enough time before the tide is coming back in, then I would recommend walking down the beach to the second set of stairs. We walk down to the other set of stairs and it's a really neat spot because it has a rocky ledge and there's some pretty beach flowers lining the stairs. Okay, so we're at the stairs and it's kind of this rocky ledge here that you have to crawl up or if you go back down the beach where we were, I think you, if there's an easier spot to walk up, there's this water. I don't know where this water is coming down. Kind of cool. So we made it up here to the stairs and now we're gonna walk up them. This second set of stairs is also a really popular surfing spot, so you might see some surfers out there on the waves. 
And once you get to the second set of stairs, you can either walk back down the beach or you can return to the parking lot up above by walking along Pebble Beach Drive. Okay guys, so this is Pebble Beach Drive that I was telling you about. It's a really pretty road and it goes all along the ocean. There's a nice little walking path so you don't have to worry about walking in the road. And there's also a few spots that have little benches up on the top. You can stop and relax and enjoy the views. We're back at the car, we made it back and I definitely would recommend if you're in Crescent City that you check out the stairs and go hunt for some agates and see the tide pools. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe if you wanna see more fun destinations and videos.